Men of Achievement 1974. This week's Man of Achievement 1974 is Thomas Matthew Ronan from Perth in Australia, writer of Mileskin Midas and recipient of the Australian Commonwealth Jubilee Literary Prize 1952. Men of Achievement 1974. <laughs> Men of Achievement 1974 there, um, regular feature. And remember, any of you can nominate a Man of Achievement 1974 for a future show. But remember, in order to qualify, they must appear in this book, Men of Achievement 1974. Right, that's the... Men of Achievement 1974. This week's Man of Achievement 1974 is John Anderson, Professor of Mechanical Engineering at the University of Minnesota. In 1969, he organised the National Conference on Personal Rapid Transit and he lists his hobbies as music, golf and tennis. Men of Achievement, 1974. Oh yeah, and don't forget you can still send in your own nomination for a Man of Achievement, 1974. As long as your nomination is a man who achieved something in 1974 and then paid for himself to appear in this book, <laughs> Men of Achievement 1974. Rich! <laughs> Men of Achievement 1974. This week's Man of Achievement 1974 is Paul Eugene Barry. In 1953, he became the cost accountant for the Buick Motor Division in Michigan and has a letter of commendation for bravery in action during World War II. Men of Achievement, 1974. Men of Achievement, 1974. There, don't forget you can send in your own nomination for that fascinating item which will continue to be in the show every week until you like it. You understand? <laughs> now, she's made it! Go. Men of Achievement 1974. This week's Man of Achievement 1974 is Robin Nelson Dudding. Robin is an editor from Hastings in New Zealand and is married to Lois Yvonne Miller. They have one son and five daughters. If you are interested in knowing more about Robin Nelson Dudding, he is also listed in Who's Who in New Zealand. Men of Achievement, 1974. <laughs> Look at that. Awful. That's the French. Oh, yeah. That's the French for you, Stu. Men of Achievement 1974 there, proving to be perhaps the least popular regular strand of the show. <laughs> Not entertaining and of minimal educational value. But we will be carrying on doing it, whatever happens. <laughs> Until it gets its own series. <laughs> <laughs> Men of Achievement 1974. This week's Man of Achievement 1974 is... Anthony A. Murto, a city planner from Connecticut. Author of No Refuse Refused, he is a president of Waterberg Municipal Administrators Association. He enjoys woodworking. Men of Achievement, 1974. You know that Men of Achievement, 1974, yeah. Stuart? Arnold from Different Strokes loves that. That's his favourite bit of the programme. Not going anywhere. <laughs> it is not. Over to Joe and the actor Kevin Eldon for this week's phone in. Um, thanks, fellas. Um, now, uh, this week's phone in addresses the fact that our weekly Men of Achievement 1974 feature is dividing opinion across the country between the people who think it's not funny and the one man who wants it on BBC One 24 hours a day. <laughs> so the question is do you think Men of Achievement 1974 should appear in this week's show? Dial 0891 338801 for yes. 0891 338801 for yes. Uh, dial 0891 338802 for no. 0891 338802 for no. And dial 0891 338803 if you think the actor Kevin Eldon here looks a bit like a monkey and that I could do a lot better. 0891 338802. <laughs> 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 that, that's not funny. Um, dial now for those monkey facts. <laughs>
Can you please just thank our guests again today and, um, yeah, can, no, don't. And uh, time, <laughs> time to go over to Joanne Wynn and the actor Kevin Eldon for like the you phone in there. results. Yeah, Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, we asked you if you wanted to see Men of Achievement 1974 in this week's show. 36% of you said yes. 22% uh, of you said that you didn't want to see Men of Achievement. Mm, and 42% of you, that's a staggering 259 people, <laughs> said you thought the actor Kevin Eldon looked like a monkey, yeah. which he does. <laughs> so here's Men of Achievement after all, because we like it. Men of Achievement 1974. This week's Man of Achievement 1974 is Moritz Adolf Jehendorf, an Austrian author and dentist. His published works include Pie and the Tart, First Book of Puppets, and Noodlehead Stories from Around the World. His hobbies include making wine from flowers. Men of Achievement. 1974. Anyway, now it's time for the part of the show that everyone's calling Moans for. Moans for. Men of Achievement 1974. This week's Man of Achievement 1974 is Tawny Otto Nall, a clergyman from Indiana. Author of Move On, Youth, and Making Good as Young Couples, he is married to France Marie Mahaji. <laughs> Men of Achievement, 1974. Elliot Tiny, the king of the show today. Men of Achievement, Elliot, a hit or a miss? What do you reckon? Um, it's Don't okay. Don't try and be clever. <laughs> I can watch it now without vomiting blood. Right. Men of Achievement 1974. This week's Man of Achievement 1974 is Harold Warner Munn from Massachusetts. He worked as the office manager for Stoker Lad Heating and is the author of The Werewolf of Pankert. His hobbies include witchcraft and demonology. Men of Achievement 1974. <laughs> Men of achievement there. As we said, um, 